The Buccaneers Episode 7 was all about the New Year's Eve party, which had a lot of things going on at the same time. We saw how the new year brought new turns in everyone's life. Episode 8 was about how things go on from where they left off in Episode 7. Nan has been in a difficult situation since the truth about Guy's telegraph surfaced, suggesting that she is not entirely sure what to make of Theo. However, she is unable to select Guy because he has already asked Jean to marry him and told Nan that it would be better for them to move on. In the season finale of the Buccaneers, we are getting ready for the wedding of the season. The final episode of season one centers on Nan's upcoming marriage, with significant drama arising from her uncertainties that may lead her to decline the proposal. Alternatively, she could choose to accept it and hope for better. One of the best single TV episodes of the year is episode eight, which is jam-packed with drama. Before the wedding, the Duchess of Tintagel tells Nan that she shouldn't humiliate her son at the altar in order to avoid turning him into a laughingstock. She offered her an opportunity to leave, but she chose to stay, so she'll just have to accept it and marry her son. Nan and Theo had a discussion about whether or not she wanted to marry him after this exchange. She says she's not in love with Guy when Theo asks again whether she is. When he asks if she wants to marry him though, she remains largely quiet. He says he won't let any doubts accompany him down the aisle, so she has until the next morning to let him know what she has decided. Guy enters Nan's bedroom covertly to tell her that he and Lady Hopele had broken up since it wasn't fair for her to be with her. He tells her that he is incredibly infatuated with her. The couple shares a kiss. She agrees to everything when Guy urges her to flee with him. As Nan enters the bathroom, Jenny, her sister, rushes into her. Nan says she'll stay in the restrooms until she leaves. Ginny apologizes once more, but Nan says she's not interested in hearing it. When Ginny tells Nan that she is permanently relocating to Scotland, Nan queries what difference it will make because she is already so far away. Eventually on, we find out that Ginny has been hiding her pregnancy from her husband. When he learns, Lord Seadown confronts her and asks whether the child is truly his as well as why she has been lying so much. She apologizes to him for lying after he hits her. While Lord Seadown is sleeping, Ginny rushes to go to Nan and tells her what he has been up to. He catches them trying to flee as they try to run. When she says they are back together, he responds good but demands that she go upstairs. Lord Richard lets his mother know that he intends to live apart from the family. He and Conchita will raise their family on their own volition, and he will no longer beg for money from the family. Conchita is asked by Lord Richard's mother, who is shocked by his decisions, what she thinks. She claims that she has never loved her husband more. On the day of the wedding, the women are seated outside the location. They devise a scheme to have Ginny and Nan flee as Lord Seadown enters, and we watch Guy get into the carriage. To protect Ginny and her child, Nan gets herself up by being married to Theo and becoming a duchess, rather than accompanying them. As the season comes to a close, Colonel St. George rushes is to inform his wife that Nan's mother has arrived at the castle while we are introduced to the new Duchess of Tintagel. A real cliffhanger. Anyone up for season two?